Today we'll be troubleshooting a MMP2 board. The first thing to do when you want to start troubleshooting an MMP2 board is make sure that your test mode is activated. Test mode can be found in the middle of the board where it has the jumper and says test. To know that test mode is activated, you want to make sure that the two prongs, one under it says test mode, are connected. Once they are connected, test mode is activated and troubleshooting is faster and easier. First, we will look at the sensor of the MMP2 board. The sensor of the MMP2 board can be found at the top right of the board. To make sure that the sensor is jumped in, the two prongs above the sensor terminal need to be disconnected. If they're connected, then the sensor terminal is disabled. If you are not using a sensor, you want to make sure that they are connected because then it will trigger erroneous heat and cool limits. Next, we will look at the wiring of the board. On the left, you can see the thermostat wiring. First, you have your common and you have your R, G for fan, Y for cool, and W for heat. Now, looking at the right side of the board is the HVAC equipment terminal. As you can see here, there is no common wire, but just an R. That is because this board does not share power with the unit. This board should have its own separate transformer for its power. So when looking at the equipment side, you just have your R, Y for cool, G for fan, and W for heat. The last step in troubleshooting an MMP2 board is to use your actuator motor buttons. These buttons can be found on the top left and the bottom left of the board. When you click this button, it'll activate the motor of that damper. This is used for troubleshooting if the motor and damper are, are working versus if there's a problem with the board itself. 